All right, 2500 HD, 2020 Silverado. Boss snowplow wiring kit and the mount. I'll show you what I did here. I couldn't find a hole. So I made a hole about four inches down from the steering and then over to the left, about two or three inches. It was a nice place to put a hole for the wiring kit. You can see it right there. And this is the drill that I use. One of these, you can pick it up at Harbor Freight. And um, made it to almost the very largest diameter. Right next to the largest is the diameter of the, the hole that you'll need. And the kit comes with a grommet. Oh, and there's the plug, or the lights for the truck or plow. And one of the wires comes up into this fuse box for the power. The other two wires are for that switch right there. All right, I'll just stay with the wiring. You will have to take this panel right here off. About 10 of these, oh, nine of them, something like that. Take that off. <clears throat> um, I mounted that relay right there on the accessory battery. Had to enlarge that hole a little bit on the mount or the bracket. And I used this battery here for the ground. And then you can see where the plug um, for the joystick went up to the cab. Fished it down through there with a fish tape. And then for the headlights, pretty self-explanatory. You'll need a headlight kit. The wires actually just came right across the top the radiator and went across. Now the positive for the power I took on this side for this battery. Hooked up the solenoid right here. It was a nice little spot for it. Pre-drilled. Um, it is plastic, but hopefully that'll be good. Uh, and then uh, take this battery cover off and then connect the power lead to, I put it to the, um, I don't know, it was 125 amp, it's one of the leads, you just pop that off, you'll be able to put it on a, a terminal. All right, again, uh, passenger side, headlight, kit, pretty self-explanatory, very easy. Um, so all the wires are down in here and I got them zip tied real good. You can kind of see it here, it's black. And here's the red one and I bring, brought it right up the center, zip tied it, you can't even hardly see it. All right, so on the frame, you will have to take this off and then you'll have to take this off. So once you take those off, put your mount on, follow the directions in the box. It was pretty, pretty good. Um, and then, so once you get the mount on, this plastic piece here, you'll have to use a vibratory uh, tool, oscillating tool, and cut the chrome where the slot is. You can see where it's slotted. I don't know, it's about a two inch long slot. You just put it up there and line it up with a marker and cut it real tight. Same with on this side. It's just slotted. You just got to slot it, work at it, and then get your, um, I don't know what you call that, valance or, um, I don't know what you call this plastic piece. But anyway, get that, and, uh, measure it and cut it and then cut the piece along the front, put on there, and then on the side, put on there. Uh, that should be it. Um, plan on spending probably about five hours on the mount, probably five hours on that wiring. So plan on spending about 10 hours on this. 
But I didn't put the mounts on. I just got the wires or the wire mounts. I just got them sitting in here loose and I'll pull them out as I need to use the plow. So I left a lot of slack here. And then put that back on. You will have to take this off too. Just two bolts, real easy. Take that off, this off. The headlights, there's a clip on those. There's a red clip. Just pull them all the way back. You'll see the red clip, you use a screwdriver, pull it all the way to the back um, and it should the plug should come off. If the plug's giving you problems, you don't have it all the way back enough. 